each time that we are they gave us what we have done a lot. We saw the full body of you. Each of them is as, as part as a part of the body of the body that they don't talk about. I, speaking honestly as a teacher, I don't even look at the commanding child not to talk about them. Documents they attach, which are bundles. The client, the defender, now the cannon, does not even know what they are coming with. But guess what? He said there were seven count charge that the judge left on their own volition. They removed one again. I brought only six count, no longer seven count. So we beat them back again with bare numbers. We brought only six today. Then I told the court, the way to go about it is that if they want this count, they plead to be taken. That means they really have to be taken. So this is a totally new charge. They changed many of the weddings, many of the sentences. And as quickly observed by my learned friend here, because I have not even seen them. Justice is not a one-way traffic for the prosecution alone. The Supreme Court, through Justice Okut, has said, it is not even a two-way traffic for the prosecution and the defendant. He said, justice is a three-way traffic. Justice for the prosecution of plaintiff, justice for the accused or defendant, and justice for the general public, members of the public, the society, which is watching, as all of you were in the court watching. Can justice be said to have been done in this case? If so, is it manifestly seen to have been done? That is the question you will be asking yourself. But what they have always done in the name of trying to prosecute that is to try to overreach us, try to ambush us, and today we resisted that ambush and again the court sold us. I said, you can't do this. You continue to say, under the ACTA, the CJA, yeah, the prosecution can always amend his camp as many times as possible, even on the day of judgment. ACTA, for God's sake, is an inferior law subject to the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It is a mere act of parliament. The Constitution is the ground law before a or Oregon. The hierarchy, the hierarchy of law, it is the master law. That is why I regard the Constitution as the upper, the essay, and the emir of our laws. Other laws like Acha are inferior laws made by National Assembly. They are like ballet or district heads. So what happens when there is a conflict between these laws like Acha and the Constitution? The Constitution tells us. Section 1, Section 1. See, this Constitution is supreme. Supreme. And then it goes on in Section 1, Section 2. You see, if any other law is inconsistent with the provisions of the Constitution, that other law will be void. Get it technically inconsistent. So, each time they mount this action, 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 put the judge from the bench to the outside has many contradictory provisions. Even the Archie, if you look at it, almost for the Federal High Court, they now have the first sentence in FCT High Court before they remember Federal High Court. It should be Federal High Court before FCT High Court or any other court. Now, that any provision in Archie must bow to Section 36 of the 1999 Constitution, which gives fair hearing. An anxious person. And what is fair hearing? The Supreme Court tells us that fair hearing includes fair trial. And that the two doctrines, two, two, one, the twin pillars of natural justice, must be observed. One is memo judges, that was the one. No one must be the judge in the Supreme Court. The other one is all the Oteram matter. You must hear the other side, which is why all the other are they here in the Garden of Eden. Even after seeing the sins they were committing, they will be signed on that prison and will be reported. Now, what do we see? Now, we have denied. 
of these facilities that allow for the trial. We lawyers cannot they asked with him and had interaction pre trial conferences. That was why the judge called the director of Legas and the CDH and said, Give them a conducive place and environment for them to have a pre trial conference. The small room where they allow us to come in, okay. Okay. with our shoes be removed, this bag will be removed, everything up to your pocket, up to this bag, I catch it, removed, everything removed. You don't allow me to take in a paper. You finally bring in a mechanic for us to discuss. What are we going to discuss without a single paper? Without allowing us to talk with him. Without showing him the chat. Not only that, the rooms are fully blocked. And they show themselves in the post. Because in their mental chat, proposed, which I forced them to the job. Oh, by the way, they had, they were forced to withdraw their amended chat. So it became as dead as the road. Died on arrival. In that amended chat, you will see some of the group of evidence, some of the documents, where they put pictures of lawyers who went to consult with Nabi Kano. So nothing is secret. There can be no fair trial when you are listening to the discussion between a lawyer and his client, in spite of the relationship, which is very much the possible thing. Banker, customer, clergy. Um, um, Complication, accountant, client, doctor, patient, lawyer, client. It must be the relationship is secret. Must be observed. That is one. Two. We are talking about to try, 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 try. Now we can move that goes solitary isolation. He brought her once a week to walk around and, and receive some. The rest medically almost receives some vitamin D every day. He cannot greet his fellow detainees because when they greet him, those detainees are taken to special cells for them to exchange greetings with Namika. So he is a, he is a solitary sad figure. Don't you know you can be sold to even inside the market? So he's kept in a small cell. He cannot talk, he cannot see people. He's not allowed to practice a Jewish religion. He's not allowed to wear the Jewish clothes. He's not given the Jewish man to pray upon. And you are talking about a factory here? The food that you used to give to me, you are not giving him the right quantity. You are not giving him continuous or nutritious food. He has bed and bed, we all have bed and bed to allow his own doctor to give him his opinion of his own. You are not allowing him. You are complaining about so much potassium in his system. You are not allowing another medical doctor. His father in law will come out with You are not allowing him. I, the leader of the team, the lead council, and you want to see me, you will disallow me on more than three occasions. I will only be allowed to see now the canon of detention three times. Me, at times I will now call the director of the legal services, call all of them, to help out. Man of trial. So, we have brought it to the attention So, the, the application they come today is at the root trial. When we succeed in it by God's grace, we see that this trial is dead, dead, dead. And by the way, even the seven count after we force them to withdraw these people that made their six count even the seven count charge that now remain, we have again appealed against it in the court of appeal. And they are going to see, as we saw, the FRM, the society, as we well as the FRM, where some counts were, where the, the therapy had been discharged, and put by the court of conduct, and they are killed. And then the court of appeal, discharging us some, and we take some, and we take some, and we take which pushed all the counts. The six counts or seven counts remaining now.
cannot even remain because each of them is biotechnically and biblically related to the eight counts that were struck out. You are saying that now we cannot make this thing. How? Where? Where did they put the locals in the place where he has actually made this thing? It's not the federal high court back. When you are charging the person, that can't charge the state. The place where the person allegedly committed the offense. Where did he commit the offense? If it was in the spirit world or on the ground, who tell us? If it was in Afghanistan, who tell us? Do you know where they tried to run away after we had beaten them back in an earlier chat where we said, we say he made a statement in London. This court does not have global tradition extensively up to London. They now tried, they now thought that by removing London, had just seen the major statement, they didn't know they had run into more murky waters. When they didn't make the statement, nowadays with this technology, where I can be speaking, and I'll be speaking with a female voice, because they will give me a female voice, and you will dress me up in female clothes. So that is where you are saying that somebody made a statement from a place of unknown. And that the statement led to people demonstrating in Nigeria. And then leading to me, they will be able to bring up to Nigeria is a country of four and fifty million people that has congestion. I hope they will be able to bring that to maybe fifty thousand witnesses. Who left who we say they were made to demonstrate because of the statement allegedly made that time we can I hope they will be able to do that. If they cannot, I'm afraid that even going to the very first time, they will just be wasting their time. So, let's say, the choice for this court is to judge and appoint you. If you are not allowing us to at least be a part of your security architecture, I I, 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 if you are not allowing us to be president of Nigeria after we once only ruled for six months, if you are now allowing us to even be ordinary vice president, apart from Dr. Rese Kwame, that was vice president of Ali Shehu Usman Shakyaru, then let us go in peace. It is recognized. Self-actualization, self-independence, self-determination is recognized by the international government on the social and political rights, the rights of individuals, the international rights of the the African Charter of Human and People's Rights. Self-determination is not a crime. So that is what this young man is fighting for. He hasn't carried guns and ammunition. We saw a of marching on his own blowing whistle wearing green beret. We want the Republic of Yemen. How is that amounting to treason or reasonable felony or versus close to treason? What are you doing about the Boko Haram that are that are killing people in their bedrooms? Raping women, wives, mothers, daughters in men's farms where our streets have become unsafe. What have you done about it? What did you do about kidnappers, armed bandits, and Boko Haram? Challenges the sovereignty and so sovereignty of Nigeria. Planting their flags in many local government areas in Borno State and Niger State. 
and give him passes to people before they can pass through him. Imposing taxation. What did you do about it? When this, when non state actors are challenging your sovereignty and your sovereignty as an independent country, they are using people and even more violent acts of violence. What are you doing about that? Why is it this long white grey head as puts as innocent as the dog that you are destroying your asset? If you try to come up with you now, you consider they have blocked all the streets so kilometers away, over court. Over a young man who never carried the gun for one day. You know all the judges you never see them saying the gun or should be lying. No, 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 no. Some of them said they ever saw him coming on the streets. Even on their military, we were on the streets demonstrating, telling people, come with us, come along with us, myself, chicken, and me and others. Even the military still permitted us that I would demonstrate. They didn't charge us with treason or treasonable felony. And this is a democratic setup. Hello, finally, let me say this. Abraham Lincoln, it was. Who? The 19th of November, 1863, we find democracy as government of the people. Let democracy bring election. The name of God. That was the voice of the Leaf Council. I feel in this matter. Chief of the Comet Sun. Briefing journalists on what transpired in court today. The matter has been adjourned until May 26, 2022, for hearing of the bell application and giving of phone. We hope on the sanctity of the law to My name is Aloy Ijmako. I'm the special counsel to the indigenous people of Biafra and Mazin Amrikan, the Supreme Leader of IPO. Uh, I just alighted uh, from the halls of the Federal High Court of Abuja, court number two, presided over by Justice, uh, Honorable Justice Binka Mwetala Inyaki. And the issue before the court today uh, was supposed to be bail application. Uh, but when we came into court today, the government sprang a surprise with an amended charge yet again for the seventh time. This time, though, they were not amending upwards, they were amending downwards. So on their own motion, on the motion of the government, they have now removed one charge out of the seven that we are left from the last time the judge struck out eight. So instead of facing seven count charges now, the government wants Mazin and to face six. But you see, the manner of springing this amendment by surprise in the wee hours of the night and not having sufficient uh, days before today for serving these charges was something else that created a storm of issues in court. So what happened at the end of the day, uh, to cut a long story short, is that the amendment was kept in abeyance and the court is going to proceed with what it what, what it had before, which was the seven charges. Because if the amendments were accepted today, then there would have been uh, necessity, a procedural necessity for taking a new plea. And that everything would have started the novel, started anew, and uh, there was nobody uh, would accept, accept that as uh, not being um, uh, manifest injustice. So the court put aside that amendment and decided to proceed with this case and also with interlocutory application, the bail application. Uh, the court denied the bail application, but it didn't deny the bail application absolutely. The court, uh, in its wisdom, says it wants to hear the full story of Maid Mazin Namdekan to skip his trial back in 2017. And until the court has had that full story, uh, it will now uh, consider him for 
uh, reinstatement of the law of the So that what that is long and short of uh, what happened today, and the matter uh, uh, stays continued or adjourned to 26 uh, uh, May, and uh, that date is sacrosanct. So we are coming back to work on 26 May. Thank you. Okay, so Thank you. Uh, that um, they added the laws as part of their to... No, they didn't. I, what, I saw some newspaper reports and whispering. What, the, what they were saying Sorry. as proof of evidence or part of the attachments to the amended amend charges that some of the lawyers to Mazen Namikad were in communication with him uh, after um, September 2017 when uh, he disappeared. That the, some of the lawyers were in communication with him when his whereabouts were unknown. That's all. But I, I saw some sensationalism to it that they had been charged as accomplices. No, that's not true. So what do you think will happen by 26? Well, 26 will be the day the new bill application or the reinvigorated, re the strengthened new bill application shall be moved. With this explanation, the, the judge is asking for, which is to explain why Mazin Namikan did not make his trial in 2017. And this is where the judgment of uh, Omar uh, State High Court, will come in. And uh, again, today, the, the lead counsel, uh, he raised the issue of a certain uh, continental ruling that I, Aloe Ejimako, had obtained in 2018 on behalf of Namikan and the Industrial of Africa. I can't go into the details of the ruling because the continental rules require me uh, to keep the ruling confidential. But it could be disclosed in the judicial proceedings, and that was done today as part of the explanation package of what happened or transpired in 2017 that compared Mazen Namdekan to Mrs. Trial. So you are certain that very soon Namdekan will be out of the whole court's process? Yes, I'm very optimistic. Uh, Namdekan is eminently qualified for reinstatement of his bail, non talk meaning relating back because the events of uh, September 2017 could have compared anybody, no, not only to John Bale, but to John Moon, John Sun, John Bale, everything, John Pebble. You know, because, you know, uh, a moving force, military force was coming uh, towards him and he had to move, he had to keep himself away from it because he didn't have a war force to repair that force. So he did what the human instinct dictates that he does. He took a flight from a risk. Merely looking at him today, what will you say about his status and others? I said, we are looking at him today, what will you say of his ex status? His ex status. Uh, his ex status? As health. Health. Looking at him today. The health, the health status cannot resolve his own. His own conditions cannot resolve on, the, on, on, you know, on their own. Of course, he has a pre existing heart condition and he has you know, uh, issues with potassium levels in his body and he has high, his hypertensive. So we're asking, you know, people may have all these things, but you see the condition of hypertension, the solitary confinement and the lack of adequate medical care do have a tendency of making these things worse. So what we're asking for is an independent medical examination and some, some kind of access to better medical care. You know, if he is awaiting trial, he has no business being in law enforcement custody. If you are awaiting trial in Nigeria, so you are sent to prison, correctional centre where there are better facilities for your welfare. But this word is an aberration. They are keeping him in law enforcement custody, and that's not normal. And we are still fighting that. Thank you very much. Today, can okay, you tell us, for some of us that are unable to see him, that the mode of the clothes he put on the Same today. thing. Same, uh, same Gucci? Was it Gucci or? Yes. Fendi, 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 Fendi. The same Fendi. Still, so the change of clothes is still an issue. Still an issue. It's still an issue. Outstanding issue. Uh, which, of course, is, uh, arises from disobedience of the order yes. of the court. There's a court order that will be allowed to change the clothing. But the law enforcement agency is not obeying it up to this month. That's a travesty of justice. Thank you so much for Thank your time. Your whole life to GTV Africa. Africa. And now you have from Thank you. Thank you. So we obeyed them. And then, you know, step back and stay there. Only for them eventually to come and started attacking us with tear gas. They tear gas the whole women there and started pushing us. You, yes, use their, what do they call it, uh, stone and whatever they carry yes. to hit my leg here. Look at, you understand? I wish you, we, we, you understand? They push me down.
We started uh, running away from them. Why? Because we cannot stay there and start smoking the, the tear gas. The women cannot uh, contain that. Some of them are asthmatic. Some with, uh, you know, uh, uh, arthritis. And they saw us. Then we are not disturbing them and started to smoke. So please, all over the world, I'm begging you. Without Biafra, you are nothing. We must leave this country. This is not a nation. Yes. Oh, Any nation. idiot who is an impediment unto the restoration of Biafra yes. must die. Yes. 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 Good news. Because good we news. must be free. Yes, yes. of course. Uh, good news. You must come and uh, that's emancipate yourself from mental slavery. Yes. And none but yourselves can free your minds. Yes. You, we should not obey them. So we're not the only people. Even the, the former USSR, they disintegrated, didn't they? Yes. 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 And even got up to 15 countries. You understand? We want to be on our own. Since we are not appreciated, they should not be pushing us up and down. You understand? Suppressing us, depressing us, and then humiliating us. It's not fair. Allow us to go. You don't want us. Let us leave you and go. Be in your country, Nigeria. We are not pushing you people not to stay in your own. Eh? If we get our own, some of your people, they can come with their passport and say, and our people, they can go there and stay, no problem. Look at the humiliation today. They are pushing us up and down, the women. Eh? And then the international world, you people are there looking, as if you don't know what you're doing, especially the, Brit the uh, 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 Britain. Why are you people behaving like that? And you are talking of uh, the Scottish, the, 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 the West, and the anglo Go. The, uh, the, 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 the British exist. Then why can't you allow these people to go, Nigeria? Eh? It is Tupo Kikabiyama that created Biafra, and not Loluga that created Nigeria. No, allow us to go. We don't want to stay. Yes, exactly. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to encourage each person standing here to be courageous. This has not been the first time this kind of thing will be experienced by a people. But one thing is that whenever God is involved in Chukwu Gikabian, is involved in a person or people's matter, there is always victory. Nigeria is quaking. Yes. Yes. Even though, as they have said, they will not give Mazenam the canoe bear. Even at that, as they have to tell you, be courageous. In no long time, heaven will shake. Believe you me, there are times people will shake heaven and cause heaven to do something. In Nigeria, they have really committed heavy atrocity to a point. Chukwoki is no longer happy about it. Be courageous and watch what God is about to do. May God bless you. As you go back to your destinations, I want to tell you that Chukwu Okike will take you back safely. The battle is on. Nobody is running from Nigeria. May Nigeria never happen to any of us. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, that's um, a myriad supporters of uh, Masinam Dekano, the IPOB leader. 
most of whom we are gathered from, from all over the um, world. So we are here to support Mazinam de Kano, the IPO leader, and to pay solidarity. The international community that is keeping quiet and all the things are happening. That they, they should provoke the indigenous population because the highest soldiers on earth are the volunteer forces. Because the volunteer force is somebody who have killed himself in the house and he's a dead man walking. There were people that came all the way from Aba, from Enugu, from Ebony. All walks and corners of Biafra land in order to stand in solidarity with Mazen and Mother Kano. And still yet, the molestation is too much. The intimidation is too much. But the only thing I want the to make it clear to them to is that they should remember the words of my supreme leader, on which I can never forget in the history of my life. Because he keeps on saying that without fear before our enemies, we have really sworn an oath to restore Bia for all. We all will die in the process. That there will be no retreat no and surrender. no surrender. Yes. That is the option they give to us is to seek our restoration by violence. The everything the leaving the zoo will be destroyed. All the animals will be destroyed. Yes. It's a promise and a pledge we are making to them. Because they must understand that we don't talk of our country. We are fanatical about Biafra. We will do everything humanly possible to ensure that Biafra comes to pass. It is either the flag of Biafra is raised up or we are lowered into the grave. One of the two must happen. And these are the words of my supreme leader that I have. And that is why he is in DSS custody today, paying the ultimate price for the total freedom of Biafra. And I want to also make it clear to the European Union. I want to make it clear to the United Nations. I want to make it clear to the African Union and many other jobless organizations of the world. They are busy talking about Russia killed the uh, Ukrainians, yes. but nobody is talking about the genocide that has been committed on the Biafran people. Nobody is talking about the genocide that is being committed in Imo State. Nobody is talking about the genocide that is going on in Ebony. Nobody is talking about the genocide that went away in Port Harcourt, at Obibo. We are our youth, we are being killed. Nobody is talking about that. But the international community are busy talking about Russia versus Ukraine. And I want to make it clear and known to the, to the world that nothing should happen to Mazi Namodekano because that man remains a leader and he remains the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. That is God's truth. And I don't think I want to make it clear. They say that freedom of expression is a fundamental human right. But today, being the 18th day of May 2022, to set the record straight, our fundamental human right was being deprived from us. Our fundamental human right of freedom of expression was denied. Our fundamental human right on freedom of association was, was denied from us. Our mothers were being beaten up today. They shot tear gas on our mothers. They, even the police officers, a woman, have the damn